everyone, it's Vicky here. I just did the most annoying thing. I did a six minute video, rambled on all the way through it, and just deleted it. By mistake, gutted. So I'm gonna try and do it again. If I forget what I was talking about, then I am sorry. So basically what my video was about was, do you follow everything your favorite YouTuber says? Now, there's been different videos out, um, and I myself have done one, was, do you follow the book? Basically saying, do you follow everything you read in the book? So say if you've got one of Scott Cunningham's books, do you follow everything that book says? No, I don't. I take different aspects from all the books I've read and all the information I've gathered and have intertwined it all together because, like like I said in when I did the other, when I tried to make the other video, it's like casting the circle. I've read in books and saw on the internet about six seven different ways of doing a circle um i gone i went more traditional with my casting a circle and i cast my circle three times so that is that is the way i do things but what i'm trying to say is we all joined youtube and all the wiccans and pagans out there and new begin and then and especially the new beginners um like me being um quite new to YouTube Wiccans, I uh, I ended up watching the most popular Wiccans out there, which were at the time, and still are very, very popular and get a lot of views when they upload a video. My very first one was um, Charming Pixie Flora. Now she was the main one I watched to start with, I kind of went through all her videos. And then it was Tiptoe Chick, and there was someone else, but I can't actually remember who it was off the top of my head ah uh, moonlight owl when she was on youtube doing videos and i love her videos when she was on here um but i i watched those videos but i did not practice exactly how they were teaching i watched them with intrigue because i like to see how different people do their practice and then once you've done that you can take different bits of it and combine it into your own practice but I didn't follow it at all just the little bits taken and used in my way and in my practice um, and it's like my videos I don't expect someone to sit down and say oh, all what she's saying is the truth and if I don't do it this way I'm doing it wrong now I don't believe that my video my channel is called Vicky's Wiccan World and that is my Wiccan world and the way I learn and the way I'm practicing and if people don't like that then that's their opinion but that's the way I'm doing things so it's all in my opinion this video I um, I find that it's important to take different aspects of things and to work it into your practice and it helps you learn as well by going through other people's videos and seeing what they do and how they what they've learned and what they they are trying to tell you it's it's important to to listen to study to find out all the information you can um, and if that means watching loads of different youtubers that say you want you type into youtube how to how to cast a circle because it's the easiest thing to put in so you put in wicker how to cast a circle and you get like a couple hundred videos come up um, and you watch about 20 of them and then you can realize what the most common things are that are linked together in those videos um, what is the most common thing they do together um, and then you can work out from that how you're going to do it and take your aspects to cast a circle I hope I'm not rambling too much and I hope this makes sense and I'm praying that I don't delete this video again so, I hope it's made a bit of sense. This is just me rambling as usual. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. Bless it be. If you want to make a comment, comment. If you want to do a video response, whatever. It's up to you. But all this is in my opinion. And I just feel so I've rambled the whole time. And this probably makes no sense to no one. So, bless it be.